Welcome to Punk Rock Radar, Episode 6. Today, we're doing blind band reviews. So sit back and hold tight, and let's get this thing kicked off. Five. All right, Matt, here we go. This is going to be episode number three of yes. blind band yeah. reviews. Mm -hmm. And Matt, we've gotten so many bands sending in their stuff. I love it. We've probably got enough to do like 10 more episodes. So yeah, guys, this is, uh, keep it's great. sending it in. This, <clears throat> we, we really enjoy this. And Matt, before we get into Test the Waters, I actually saw a pretty authentic exchange between a band and a reviewer today. <laughs> And you have not seen this, so I want your genuine reaction to this. Um, I'm going to read it now. So, Apathy and Exhaustion is a punk blog review site, and Divided Heaven is a band. And Apathy and Exhaustion kind of gave their honest review on the band's new record. And this is the response from the band. <laughs> the laziness of the post description matches the laziness of the unoriginal name of your website. Give me bad reviews all day. That's fair, but don't shit on me and my record in the description. You're not that much of a tastemaker to know for certain that none of your followers might actually like a record by dude who used to be in the boils that is now taking a different route. Again, not bothered if you're 10 years in the business boy wants to slam the record, but have some courtesy when presenting it. So Matt, I love seeing this like in 2022, yeah. how often do we get bands and review sites giving their honest opinion? I feel like every time I go on a punk site, it's five out of five, four out of five. It's everything is great, right? You never read a review. That's like one star, two star anymore. It just, it doesn't happen. So, yeah. I felt like that was kind of good to bring up here because that's what we're striving to do. Like, we don't want to cut anyone down. We don't want to make anyone stop making music, but it's just like refreshing in today's day and age where people are not pulling punches. They're just saying what they feel. So yeah. Matt, what did you think about that? I thought it was great. I loved it. You know? Um, so let me just, I, I, this is the first time I've seen this. So, uh -huh. That response was the band responding back to the reviewer saying he's lazy, yada, 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 stuff like that. Exactly. I would love that. If I say anything bad, just give me all that negative energy back. I feed off of that. I love it. It'll just make me do it even worse and, and worse each time. So, yeah. I love it too. So, yeah, yeah. if we're mean, by all means, be mean back to us. We could take it. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're, I'm not gonna we're cry. grown ups yeah. over here. Uh, like yeah. it is what it is. If we don't like it, we don't like it. You don't have to like us. With that, that's what we're doing this for. It's, it's not John and Matt gush over mediocrity. It's well, instead, instead of writing like a novel, like how much you hated our review. I would rather have a meme. Just make a meme of us, a picture or something funny, and send that instead of like a novel. Like I'm not gonna read that. So if you send me something like that, I'm not gonna read it. A picture, I'll look at. All right. So bravo, divided heaven. Bravo, apathy, mm -hmm. exhaustion blog very good more of this in 2022 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not everything has to be positive so great job guys all right so now we're into test the waters who is from california the bay area in particular matt any thoughts before we get into it um I, no i think it's going to be good i see i see a lot of bright colors so that's always a good sign it's going to be fast and good mm-hmm and so that's what I'm going off of. I, I've heard these guys before at some point on New Music Friday, but it has been a little bit. So not a true blind review from me, but Matt, for you, you know, make sure you let us know what you think. The song they sent in are, is called Are These Hangovers Worth It? You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to spin it. All right, here we go. Test the Waters. <laughs>
right, man. Thoughts? Dude, that was a uh, that was a good one to start off with. You know, <laughs> no, dude, like, <laughs> what, what what is this? Can, can like can some crappy band send some stuff in? Because this is like the last video we posted was all bangers, and then we're starting off with this test of waters. This was good, man. Um, I'm feeling it. I'm digging it. Uh, it was good. Uh, I'm trying to think of similarities right now off the top of my head. Uh, um, I want to say I don't know if I'm off with this one. Correct me, but maybe the Wonder Years. I can kind of see it. it. To me, it has more of like an early 2000s vibe, like very like drive through records. Yeah. Uh, I, I There's a band that I can hear on the tip of my tongue, but I it's just not coming to me right now. Um, maybe Dynamite Boy, if you guys remember the Fearless bands back in the day. Uh, it's super melodic. It's, it's real fun, pop punk. It, it definitely reminds me of the early 2000s sound, and I'm into it, man. I like this. I think I ha- may have some of these songs on my playlist, so I like these guys. This is Test the Waters. Make sure you follow them on Spotify and wow, Instagram. Yeah. This is good shit. Mm-hmm. All right, John, and the next band up is called Dave Strong. Uh, so we have his Instagram page up right here. Uh, he gives a little description. Uh, just an old school punk rocker looking to make a way in a world of normal people. I feel you, man. Um, what do you think, John? Just looking at his page right now. What do you? What do you? How do you think this is going to play out? Uh, I'm curious if it's a one man band. If it it looks all DIY to me, I love that. Uh, I, I mean, I relate to this one liner like so much. So I, I'm ready, man. I think it's going to be solid. Right. Uh, with that being said, he didn't send us a song. So what we normally do is just go with the most popular song if it's on Spotify. Uh, and with that being said, we're going to listen to Little Girl. Um, and this is off of Spotify. So uh, you ready to spin it? I'm ready. Here we go, man. Three, right. two, one. Little Girl by Dave Strong. What do you think so far? Again, that was Little Girl by Dave Strong. I like it, man. Another mm-hmm. uh, Ramones core yeah. style. Um, what did you think? Yeah, same thing, the Ramones Curl style. Um, I'm curious to know if this is like a, a one-man project or if, if he's if he's playing all those instruments or if he, he has a band. Uh, Dave, if you're listening, let us know. Because if this is a one-man project, that was pretty awesome right there. I'm going to say that. That's awesome. I like that. You know, just taking it uh, and, and doing it yourself. I, I like it. I'm actually going to take a listen to a few more of these. Yeah. I, I do like the style. Um. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you never know what you're going to get when it's a one-man band. So, you know, I think you did a great job, man. I, I'm into it. I like the song. Uh, I like this art here for the Nightcrawler. So that'll be probably be the next one I listen to. I am curious yeah. now if your Spotify image is sideways on purpose or if it's incidental. That is my question. Anything I'm else going with on purpose. I'm saying on purpose is that artsy kind of look like I'm not going to conform to you people who put it the correct way. I'm going sideways. I hope that's the case because I I like yeah. that. You know, yeah, fuck same authority, here. man. Fuck right side <laughs> <of> photos. <laughs> Absolutely, right, that, <laughs> that's Dave Strong. All right, Matt. Next band up is called Seferin. Their Instagram is Seferin underscore official. Yeah. Let's see. They are from Southern California. They're on Spotify. Make sure you give them a follow here and Instagram. Matt, just based off this, I'm getting like maybe an AFI vibe. Yeah, kind of like AFI, um, Avenge Sevenfold, even maybe. Avenge Sevenfold. I don't know. That that picture down there with the guitar, you see that one? He's ripping on that guitar. It kind of reminds me of maybe something like Avenge Sevenfold. 
But well, what do you think? You think it's going to be like metal or you think it's going to be like experimental? I mean, I think it's safe to say it's going to be different. Yeah, I think, yeah. Wait, is that a picture of Scooby-Doo? It's going to be good if that's the picture of Scooby-Doo on there. <laughs> I can't argue with that logic. So. Yeah, it's going to be good. Did they did they send in a particular song or? Yeah, they sent in uh, it's terror time again, and they said let it rip. So I will let this one rip. So um, we'll see how it is. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. This is Seferin. It's terror time again. band only have 19 only have nine. monthly All right. listeners that look, is look. that is a crime this is awesome oh. holy so they shit. said they said let it rip so i'm gonna let it rip okay so i'm gonna take this song and i'm gonna bring it over to the morgue because they freaking <laughs> killed it dude they killed it this reminds me of like the misfits yes, uh Cali- yes. calabrese uh calabrese um or calabrese right is that how you pronounce it but this yeah how do they have 19 monthly listeners this is Right up my alley. I love this. Like love they're, gonna, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna have twenty they're gonna have twenty monthly listeners because I'm gonna be rocking to this twenty one. This yeah, um yeah, guys give them a listen, follow them on Spotify. This was yeah, it blew me away. This was good. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. I always get worried when I see like album art like this because I don't like if experimental, I don't like noise rock, I don't like like when it gets weird, like math rock, but like if it's just straight horror punk like this, I'm all about it. Yeah. Yeah, this was uh Yeah, we I don't think we we did a bad band so far today. This is this is this may be another rare moment mm-hmm. like our last one. Uh but yeah, as of right now, this is my favorite one today. Damn, uh, it, it is yeah. good. Yeah, this is up my alley with the misfits and and everything like that. Um yeah, loving it. All right, that's Seferin. Go check him out. Oh. All right, John. The next band up is out of Quebec, Canada, and they're called uh, Remark. And the name of their album is The New Error. And um, their Instagram page is up right over there, so give them a follow. Uh, It looks like they're probably a newer band. Um, So what do you think so far, John? Looking at their page, um, looking at their album cover, what do you think this is going to be like? It looks good. I it gives me like an early 2000s pop punk aesthetic based on what I'm seeing here. Um, I like that it kind of looks like it might be like a brand new band based on the Instagram page or they just yeah. don't care about social media, which I also like. Uh, I'm excited to hear it, man. What about you? Yeah, I'm excited to get this one rolling. And the uh, the name of the song we're doing is The Fall by the band The Re- uh, Remark. All right, here we go. We're going to do it in one, two, three, or should we do on the toi, Matt? Here we go, The Fall by Remark. Well, I'm 
Wow. Uh, I, I saw what you did there in the beginning. You counted in French because I'm from Quebec. So I'm going to say c'était bon. C'était bon. I think my French is a little rusty, but that is that was good. If I'm, if I'm saying it wrong, remark, correct me how to say that was good in French. But uh, that was good, dude. That reminds me, like the first band right away, I started, you know, when he started singing his Bad Religion, that reminded me of Bad Religion um, right off the bat. Yeah. I 100% agree. If Bad Religion with double bass, <laughs> you know, you don't hear that <laughs> yeah. style too much. And also, too, the two bands that came to mind aside from Bad Religion, which I 100% agree with you there. Enemy U and Zero Down, I believe both fat bands. Um, I could be wrong. But yeah, I, I definitely like I definitely like this a lot, actually. Yeah. It's, it's 90s uh, punk rock, skate punk. I, I'm going to listen to this whole thing later, to be honest with you. But I think we're on the same page. This rocks, right? Yeah, dude, and and Canada has been pumping out these good bands. Like all the Canada bands, like the Canadian bands so far that we've listened to, have been have been good. I don't know what they're doing up there, what they're drinking or eating, but keep on doing it. I agree, man. This was the last one of the day. I think we had another day full of bands that all said "Let It Rip," and we didn't even have to. So yeah, keep sending yeah. us stuff like this, guys. If if you're not sure how to submit. Just head over to our Instagram page and click the link. Let me see if I can get there quick. Click the link. And there's a button right here. Blind band review submission. That's it. It's real simple to get featured on the show. We love doing this. We've got several more to go. So we're going to be churning these out. I think the plan is two per week. Um, aside from these, we have our Green Day tier list dropping on Gosh. either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Matt, I've been sh really, really stressed about this. It's going to be like picking your favorite pet or your favorite kid for some people. Yeah. It's it's going to be interesting, but I'm excited for it. And yeah, it's definitely going to be hard because, uh, you know, the rules we have to follow, only three and three can go into the S tier tops. That's it. <laughs> um, so that's going to be hard to see. I'm curious to see what you, you were going to put in the S and the A. Uh, let's see how that's going to pan it out. All right, and one other thing I want to announce is that this coming Friday, the Punk Bunker is back finally, and they are going to do our top 20 albums of 2021. A lot of people are saying, John, why didn't you do the top 21? I didn't think of it. I should have. I had so many extras I could have put there, but it is what it is. It's the top 20 of 2021. Make sure and check out the Punk Bunker to hear that. And spoiler alert, there's a band on here that I really like. On a hiding to nothing. These guys are awesome. You can get the tape from Cat's Claw. You can get the vinyl from Bearded Punk. I pre ordered both. I suggest you should too. It's one of the best records of last year. Super cool guys. Awesome band. If you like fat epitaph style, On a Hiding to Nothing, I cannot recommend them enough. Matt, what about you? Uh, so, right now, uh, the Serial Killers came out a few days ago. Their new album, uh, Snap, Crackle, Pump, Pop, Pop, Pop Punk. <laughs> a little tongue twister there, guys. But uh, no, definitely a sick album. Definitely check them out. Follow them. Go on their Spotify. Get those viewer listeners up a month. Um, and the other thing I wanted to announce is that we're going to be doing a giveaway uh, with this video. So if you watch this video on YouTube, comment down below. Subscribe. We're going to be picking a random person. And we're going to be shipping out a nice Punk Rock Radar t-shirt and some stickers along with it. And John just pulled up the Serial Killers uh, Instagram page. Check it out. They rock. All right. With that, comment, get your shirt, get your stickers. You know, we're giving it away, so get to it. <laughs>